Here's this massive bronze lighthouse bell. It's over four feet tall and probably uh, four or five feet across. Weigh tons and tons. And somebody around here has a penchant for stealing signs or something because they're gone. So we don't know what lighthouse this came from. But look at the manufacturer's marks over here. This was cast by the McShane Bell Foundry in Baltimore in 1897. And I think we can see the weight up here. Look at that 4,119 pounds stamped into it, okay? That's a heavy bell, two and a half tons. That's where it was mounted. McShane Bell Foundry. We're going to walk over and look at another very historic object. This is one of the 5 inch 30 caliber guns from USS Maine. I think everybody's heard of USS Maine sunk in Havana Harbor, you know, the proximate cause for the Spanish American War. And uh, it was underwater for a while, so you can see it's got a good bit of corrosion. Might have been underwater for 10 years, I don't know, when they recovered it. But uh, there's a big, big bronze plaque. I'm sorry, 6 inch 30 caliber gun, not 5 inch, from Battleship Maine. Sunk in Havana Harbor in 1898. And this is kind of a rare uh, gravity return type carriage. I think the whole gun assembly slides up a little incline every time it fires. See an incline? It's just a big heavy piece of steel and uh, quite rusty from its immersion in Havana Harbor. Salt water, of course. And there's a breech mechanism, which you'd have a hard time getting open today. The traverse mechanism, a big old gear, and a, uh, a circular rack gear there, going around. Some steel rollers. Looks like the elevating gear right there. And armor plate, uh, about a couple inches thick as you expect on something like a battleship. What's over here? Here's a sphere, a big steel sphere. Now we'll go up and see what that is. That's for deep sea submergence, I'll bet you. Probably got a thick old window in it here. There you go. This is the Alvin pressure sphere. One of two titanium pressure hulls designed fabricated by NRL for use in Navy's deep submergence vehicle, Alvin. Weighs 7,500 pounds. 1.33 inches thick of titanium. That's a lot of titanium. And it enabled Alvin to go from uh, much deeper, down to 12,000 feet. And it was retired and so forth. But that's a big titanium sphere with a hatch at the top so you can get in if you want. I'm not going to get in it today. Windows so you can see the uh, sea life outside. Okay? Look in it. See anything? There's a light in there. I wonder if anybody's living in there. You know, any street people or anything? Hmm? I guess not. Here's a spare propeller blade from USS Maine that they salvaged from uh, from the ship in Van Arbor. 